In today's video, we will take a look at ADAM optimization. Building upon the Delta and RMS prop, this popular variant of stochastic gradient descent make heavy use of moving average to mitigate the grad problem while ensuring an adaptive learning rate. We'll first dive into the formula before taking a look at the Python implementation. So this is the formula, it's very similar to the past one we saw since it's a gradient optimization. Uh, let's break it down uh, very slowly. So the first parameter, uh, theta t plus uh, 1, is the future value for the parameter. This is a vector, so it's what we're trying to calculate. Theta at t is the current value for the parameter, it's still a vector. N over here is the learning rate, and uh, since it's an adaptive uh, uh, stochastic gradient descent technique, uh, we, sh we should always set it to the same thing, which is 0 0.01. The goal is to, um, to adapt the, the learning ring using uh, the two uh, parameters that we see, uh, we'll see in a few instant. Epsilon over here is uh, there for numerical stability, so it's mainly there to avoid division by zero. So it's set to 10 exponent minus eight. So we are left with the, these two, uh, so v hat and m hat at t, um, which is the main purpose of Adam. Let's break those down. So this is what they're looking uh, like. Um, so these two value of, uh, uh, are nothing but the bias corrected running mean um, uh, for the m and v variable. So those are just running mean that are bias corrected. So the, the m, t, and v, t we'll see in a few, but they are biased towards zero. Um, so what we're doing is we're doing the those value divided by one minus beta. Beta are um, the decaying factor for the two different uh, running average. Uh, the b1 uh, is the, the first decay factor set to 0 0.9 usually. The other one is set to 0 0.999 um, exponent t. So one thing to notice is that um, as the time step increase, the bias correction will stop and m hat at t will be equal to mt. Uh, this is just to uh, avoid the bias towards zero at the beginning and afterward, once we're out of this spot, uh, we're good to go. So the value for b1 and, uh, sorry, the value for beta one and beta two are empirically uh, found. And um, so uh, they were found to be the one that, uh, the initialization that worked the best for Adam. So now we're left with those two, mt and vt. We can unpack uh, those. Uh, they are simply running mean. This is the standard like running mean um, uh, construct that you will see. You see uh, a, a decaying factor on the left plus one minus decaying factor on the right times something. Um, so here we have mt minus one and vt minus one. Those are the past running average and we are um, uh, weighting them with the gradient. So uh, the, the gradient is a vector here and it's one for each parameter. So it's a partial derivative of each of the parameter. Um, and if you look, mt is the running average for the first moment, so the mean kind of. Uh, but here, since we're talking about stochastic gradient descent, it's um, an approximation of the mean. And the second one, the second uh, running average is the uh, running average for the second moment, which is uh, the variance. So that's why we have gr gradient exponent two. So that's it, this is pretty simple. Once we unpack it, let's take a look at the Python implementation of this whole thing. All right, so uh, let's take a look at um, the Python implementation. Like always, we're always using the same um, kind of toy example where we're trying to use Adam to uh, fit a line. Um, so we have those parameters, we have W0, W1, um, and we're doing the square error. So um, that's it, uh, taking into account that Adam is supposed to be used for um, deep learning uh, like network. So um, this is just to double check if we're doing everything correctly. Um, so you can go through this, the code is on the GitHub. Um, basically we have a model over here that you can derivate. So you have the partial derivative for W0, the partial derivative for W1 which is the slope and the intercept. Um, and then you have a bunch of, of stuff that is not that relevant. Here, this helper function is the only thing that is really relevant. It's um, a way to take a bunch of x's and y and just sample with replacement. Um, that's pretty much that. So uh, we have a bunch of them. We have Ada Delta, Hermes Prop, Ada Grad. The one that we're interested in is Adam. 
but let's take a look at the setup so here we have the data points so it's just simple data points um, simple uh, setup and we're trying to fit a line into this um, so this thing uh, this x and y is give us intercept of zero and slope of one um, and we're just going to try to overfit that thing uh, we have this one we have a intercept of zero and a slope of two and we have an intercept of one and a slope of two this is what we're trying to fit let's take a look at the uh, the, the the actual formula um, so the parameter we have the model which is the line that we saw before we have some parameter some it's an object and we have some parameter on it we have the x's and the y's uh, so those are uh, vectors we have uh, the learning rate which we set to 0 0.1 it should be set to 0 0.01 but uh, for um, this setup it's better to have 0 0.1 if you're working on deep learning things um, put that at 0 0.01 um, we have the uh, beta and beta 1 and beta 2 uh, with those proposed value we have our epsilon over here and here is the maximum number of iteration that we want to go until we stop so we're going to overfit the data until we get hit the maximum number of iteration um, so that's it let's take a look at the um, the code now it's actually very simple uh, there's three parts there's the initialization um, there's the iteration there's two parts initialization iteration and at the end over here our model is changed so we're trying to change this model so the w0 and this w1 inside this model um, in order to make it fit the data that's the idea so if you look over here we're keeping track of three things well actually yeah three things this is useless the t over here is just completely useless okay so um we keep track of three things we take keep track of the the m parameter the v parameter and the gradient um if you look here this is an array an array another array um if this we have two here because we have a line if we had more parameter that will be a, a bigger vector and we will use a library like uh, numpy to uh, manage this uh, but just to visualize what's happening this is this is what it's what it's happening we have those things and uh, so this is for w0 and this is for w1 here we have the time step but this is done we can actually put the time step over here and change this to that so we have less parameter good so this is the iteration and every every iteration is the same we're doing the same thing right so we calculate the gradient so you take one point from the data set and then you're going to calculate the um the gradient for um the w0 and the gradient for w1 and th these happen to be the partial derivative of w0 the value with x and y and the partial of derivative of, of uh, w1 uh, with the x and the y that you choose and then you have those gradient there once you have these the next step in the formula is to update the m and v parameter right here we're using this comprehension because we're iterating through uh, two things we're trying to the m and g remember we have m and g in the uh, in the formula um and let's say we have m i and g i so m0 g0 m1 g1 what we're doing is that thing we're doing the running mean so the beta one times m i plus one minus beta one times g i so this is the running mean of the first moment and the second one is the same thing it's the running mean of the second moment and the only difference is that the gradient is exponent two right so take a, a, a good look over here uh, but this could be a for loop or we could have stretched it out to have hidden steps but that's the idea and after that once you, this is done you have the bias correction that's happening here actually that this part could be directly stapled over here uh, i wanted to separate it because the, the formula was in three steps so that's just for convenience um, and to separate it we do uh, whatever we got over here divided by one minus uh, beta exponent t that's the idea and then over here this is the update and it's simple this is the p plus one this is a t and then we're doing the minus learning rate divided by the square root of vt um, plus epsilon times the uh, the um, 
the M parameter, right? So the, the running mean of the first moment and V is the running mean of the second moment, which are co bias corrected to not be biased towards zero. And we're doing this for W0 and W1. We could have done a list comprehension, but here, because we have that construct over here, we can't really, we should put W as a, an array and then we can, uh, but that's the idea. So if we run that, let's not look at um, the other ones. Whoops. You can look if you want to. Um, so we're gonna create the line, print out them, uh, fit, and then print the model. So the first iteration, we have this. It's kind of near zero and then one. And then as you go, you see after 200 iteration, it's pretty much there. And after that, it's just like fitting and fitting more until you get like really close. Um, but Adam is really good compared to um, the other one. Um, yeah, so that's fit. So this is zero and this is one. If we try to do zero and two, zero and two good so and one last one so one and two it's really great perfect so that whole thing worked um, there's honestly nothing else to it uh, it's that simple it's simple when you look also at the other ones if you look at, at the Delta and Armus prop the structure of the thing um, it's the same thing they also are using a uh, running average uh, to uh, remediate from other grid problems. Um, yeah, let's take a look at them. So this is Adada Delta, uh, sorry, Ada Delta, and it's kind of the same thing as uh, the one before. See here we have a DK factor, and RMS prop also has a DK factor. That's the idea. Great, that's it. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you have comment or question, please leave them in the comment section. And like always, have a great week.